Hello, my name is Mark, and today we are looking at the true bug Hypsilonotus. I've got my macro gear just behind me here, and he's on the branches of this little plant over here. So let's take a closer look. Now I found a whole heap of these guys on the one plant in the garden, which made them really easy to film. And this is a shot, I'm just going to pop my finger into frame here so I can give you an idea of their size. I did most of the shooting at night which made the job even easier because they were very slow moving and very docile. Hypsilonotus is part of the Coridae family of leaf-footed bugs. In turn this is part of the Hemiptera order of insects. Hemiptera are also known as true bugs. Now most people think of a bug and they think of anything that's small and creepy and crawly but when a scientist thinks of a bug they think of the Hemiptera order of insects which are known as true bugs. One way to recognize true bugs is to look for their long straw-like proboscis which is used usually to suck sap that's in most species but some species they'll use it to suck the insides out of other insects as in with the assassin bug or in the case of the bed bug to suck blood. I could not figure out what these guys were doing. Most of them were just sitting about. I did find this one who was playing with a caterpillar and another one who was really busy being dinner for the spider. Just a guess here, but I think this spider is somehow related to the redback spider of Australia. When I came back about a week later to film the start and the end of this video, I found that these little guys were actually feeding on incredibly tiny little flowers that are at the base of each of the leaves on this plant. That explained to me why these guys are congregated around this particular plant. It's because of those tiny flowers which probably only this insect can get its mouth parts into. The last thing I observed is that these guys will actively defend the best flowers and chase away competitors. And in this shot, I actually got him chasing away another bug. And I'm sure if it came to it, if they were equally matched, there would be a small fight. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed my video. And thanks to Andreas and the other people on the various forums who helped me identify this bug, I wouldn't have had a hope on my own trying to identify this little guy. And if you like these type of videos, please subscribe, please click like and comment below and tell your friends. Every little bit of feedback helps, whether it's good or bad or whatever you feel like doing. I'll put a link to my previous video just after this. And uh, my name is Mark and this is Biodiversity Shorts. Cheers.